destiny, good morning student, good morning to your destiny. Now, like I've been showing you about the building. So this is the camp. This is the camp assembly. And this is the camp shot. And this is the gear. This cam is driven by the engine like this. So as it is moving, you can see the follower here from this place. You can see the follower is also moving. So when you are told to draw the cam profile, you're simply going to draw how the, how the cam is rotating the follower like this. Because the follower has to be on this part. So when it is like this, the follower is lifted up. When it is like this, the, the follower is on dwell. When it is like this, the follower is still on dwell. When it is like this, the follower now has a return stroke. So we have the out stroke on the right, we have the dwell, then we have the return stroke, then we have the dwell, and then we have the out stroke. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and I will show you more about this. morning student like I promised you in my last video I will show you now how to draw the cam displacement diagram like I have done in the last previous videos and as you can see as I had already started so the very first thing that you do when you're drawing your cam displacement diagram using a roller follower you will first uh, draw the diameter of the roller follower then draw the follower as that I've shown you after you draw your reference then in this case for roller follower it is two this two centimeters as you can see it is two centimeters as we've been given on our question that it is 20 millimeters or two centimeters then after that i drew my my minimum radius our minimum radius was 25 25 millimeters that is the minimum radius 25 millimeters which if you measure from this point it will be 2.5 centimeters as you can see it is 2.5 centimeters then after we got that i also drew the prime circle what is our prime circle? Our prime circle, we are told that it is 35 millimeters. That is our diameter. And I have drawn it very well from this particular point. As you can see from here, this is 3.5 millimeters. Like I have shown you. Then from there, I went back to my to my to my diagram. I drew, I saw that it was the outstroke or the rise was to 120 degrees. So I took my protractor like this and I measured 120 degrees clockwise so after standing at this particular point like this here yeah, i measured 120 degrees going clockwise so like this so this was 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 that is 90 degrees and i again put my protractor like this from this particular juncture or point like that then i drew this 90 so 10 11 12 this was 120 after that I divided this 120 degrees, this 120 degrees into six equal parts, which would be 20 degrees apart, 20 degrees apart, like the way I've done it. So now the next thing that I was to do, it was now to draw the dwell. The dwell was 30 degrees. So we are told that the dwell is 30 degrees from our calm displacement diagram. So standing from this particular point, like this, standing from this particular point, like that and aligning everything in order so you measure that from this last point from the last point that you that you identified as 120 degrees so you begin from there so this will be zero this last point will be zero one two three so this is 30 degrees now then from this particular point now you can now strike a, 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 a straight line from the middle that protrudes this line like that so this is now our dwell and this becomes 30 degrees go back to your calm displacement diagram you are told that there is a return stroke of 60 degrees if there is a return stroke of 60 degrees again standing from here put in your protractor uh, uh, the way you have aligned it properly like that so you will find that uh, at this particular juncture or at this particular point yes looks like this so you measure again 60 degrees so this will be zero from the last point of 30 degrees it was here zero one two three four five six so this is our 60 degrees like that again from this particular point now you draw an arc so this 60 degrees again 
you must divide it into six equal parts as we all know that uh, uh 60 divided by by six it will be 10. so you'll divide it into 10 intervals 10 degrees apart 10 degrees apart 10 degrees apart 10 degrees apart please follow and very be be be, be very keen with this so 10 degrees apart 10 degrees apart so be this is to be one 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 and one so so you've gotten that draw straight lines again protubing outside like this you see very nicely you draw something like that also draw something like this and draw something like this so after you've gotten that point the rest of it we are told that it is 12 this is 150 degrees and you're told that the rest of it it is 100 and 50 degrees so this is 60 degrees this again the rest of it from this particular point to this point it is 150 degrees this one we don't separate anything we don't divide anything then now from this uh, juncture now you now have to use your cam displacement diagram very nicely please follow so uh, name your name your particular points from your cam displacement this line here the center line will be our our zero this will be our one this will be our two this will be our three four five six uh this will be our zero prime this will be our one prime two prime three prime four prime five prime six prime as you name them as you have named them also here in this uh in this camp displacement diagram so here you use your cam displacement so our zero line on the cam profile and the zero line on our cam displacement diagram we measure the distance from this point to there to, 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 to this point like for example the six line on our, our cam displacement diagram it will be zero, from here to here you will measure this distance from here to here then transfer the same distance again here on the sixth line on your cam displacement diagram as you have named them then stand on the prime circle like this and strike and act like that so let us now start from zero zero and zero there is no distance to calculate so it will be at this particular point it will be at this trace point this trace point then one and uh, one one and one one and one it is like this one one and here, then stand on the one part like this here on the prime circle like that then make a mark like that so again to to do again do the same thing follow the procedure stand on the number two line stand on the prime circle again so you can act like that then mark then stand on the three again the same thing like that that same distance stand here then mark put a mark there and mark it like that on the next one it is four again stand there where four is like that you see the four the same distance again stand at this particular point again make a mark like that then put something like that then number five here it is number five this particular point like this this five stand here again make a mark like that then again on number six here like i had shown you you stood here then you stroke that mark like that then like that then zero prime zero prime again stand here again measure the distance that will be the distance stand on the zero prime line this is a zero prime line like that again strike mark start one prime again one prime line here again that distance stand here on the one prime again mark there that is why the, the displacement diagram has switched stand on the number two prime line there that is the number two prime line again stand here on the number two prime line here again strike an arc like that then stand on the number three prime where there as you can see it looks like that so number three prime it is on this uh, center line that we do again strike an arc then number four prime here will be number four prime that will be the distance transfer it here on the number four prime line this is the number four prime line as you can see again so can act like that stand on the number five prime like that 
it's like that so again stand on this particular point like this again here strike an arc then six prime you can see there is no distance so it is at this particular juncture like that so from there we have been able to achieve this point so our next part now <clears throat> it is to now to draw the roller remember this is, is a roller so there will be rollers roller the roller will be at this point this now the, this will be the rotation of the follower so the roller we are told that it is one centimeter so from this particular point again measure your one centimeter like that then from every marked point you draw your roller you draw your roller, you draw your roller like that <clears throat> from every marked point draw your roller every marked point draw your roller from every marked point draw your roller like that from every marked point draw your roller from every marked point draw your roller Repeat the procedure severally. Every marked point. Draw your roller from every marked point. Again. Draw your roller. Just follow every procedure that I'm following, and you will see how simple it is to actually draw cams and get your 20 marks and go happy be happy again. Brighten your future and also give glory to God. Go to church, tell God thank you for what he has done. Because God is on our side. Do not be afraid. You will surely see the goodness of God. Then from this particular point again, draw your profile like that. So after you have identified all these points, the next thing that we do now, you now draw. You draw your cam profile like this. You see from the base, from the base of the roller, from the base of the roller, like this. From the base of the roller, you see? From the base of the roller, like that. That is how you now draw it, like that. From the base of the, of the roller, like this. From the base of the, like that. Now this will become the displaced the cam profile. This is the cam profile. We have been able to achieve this, of course, by the help of the displacement diagram. That's why I told you you must be very careful and so much keen when it comes to drawing cams. Yes, like that. Now here we have been able to draw. So this is our prime circle. This is our base circle, then this is our roller, follower, then this is our, uh, our cam profile. You can decide to name it, so this will be our cam profile, this will be our prime circle, this will be our base circle, and this one will be our, cam, will be our, our roller. Follower. So it is as simple as that. As you can see, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I will show you now how to draw the next where we have the flat face. God bless you.